Hi everybody, in this video we'll continue to work on our task controller and add update method and you know work on the update method so we are able to update the task. Let's log in. Um, so last time we managed to work on the tasks inside the project. So right now there are no tasks. For example, if, we, if, I, if I go to the other project where we have uh, eight tasks, but this, this is like gibberish, I want to change it. So I'm going to edit. It's going to bring in this uh, edit model window with the pre-filled task instance. And if I try to edit this and then update, nothing happens because we don't have anything in. It's it's sending this information to the update URL, which is this URL. And there was another problem. This was coming undefined. We're going to solve that problem, and also we're going to try to uh, fix the update. So let's open our application. The very first thing is we're going to open task controller. Now here, what I did, I, I did a mistake that when we run edit method, here is task slug. Instead of task slug, I put task lug. So if I do a task slug and save it, and then I go back and let's just refresh the window for a second. And then when I do edit, it's going to show me the correct URL. It's no longer undefined. It's the task slug is being displayed here, which is um, which was basically due to the typing mistake, and that's the correct task slug. So I did that mistake while typing. So sorry about that. And let's continue to work on our update method here. Now, when the request is submitted, so what essentially happens behind the scenes is that the, the new data is coming from this model window and the data is exactly same. Um, the type of data is exactly same as the new task. And when we add a new task, we give a task name, description and due date, and then it gets filtered or validated by a task request and if the if the um, conditions are met then it's passed on to the controller which is um, which persists the data into the database basically you buy, tells model to persist the data and when we're doing edit essentially exact same thing we are trying to do here as well so basically when we update the data is exactly same except that it has been updated it has to go through the same task request so it can be validated and then stored in the database so that means we're going to be providing here the request uh, like so but that's just the plain request we're getting from our view instead we want to pass it to a task request so the data can be validated automatically another thing we want to give is the project instance project instance and task instance like so and then we are able to proceed so again same thing if request is ajax then do this otherwise do this now if the request type is ajax what we want to do is basically we need um we need to figure out the slug first with the new uh, based on the new name so we'll be we'll be typing in the new name so we're gonna have to create a new slug now in order to create a new slug it's the same we're gonna use a helper class here called string slug and we're gonna give it uh, a string which is going to be name and then we're gonna we're gonna persist the data now how to persist the data is we're gonna use the eloquent query builder here the relationships we set up now the project has many tasks 
which we're gonna provide we're gonna make use of this project instance we're talking about because we are working in this project instance so it's automatically gonna find out because the JavaScript is capturing this in this um, uh, project slug and so we're gonna have to pass um, so if you're not using Ajax then it's automatically figured out by Laravel that this is the project um, slug we are talking about based upon the key the project slash key slash task slash key but because we are not we are submitting to a, this URL using Ajax we have to fetch the project slug and the task slug ourselves that's why we we have JavaScript in place that's gonna look after that part but if you do if you if you if you wanna like test yourself you don't wanna use Ajax just try to run a normal HTTP request and it'll, it'll work fine trust me because it'll figure out from the key the key that we set up from the in the routes.php in routes.php here we have set up this key projects task subtasks or let's say this one project slash key task slash key anyway one of the uh, future videos we may have a chance to look at that kind of HTTP uh, request because I don't usually use Ajax a lot okay project now project has many tasks so like so and then just like that we, we used last time create method but here we're gonna use update method and then it takes an array of arguments and those are nothing but let's go back to the create up just just before we did here and just copy that whole thing and paste in here so basically the slug is going to be the slug and request is going to be the new the new request if it's validated request name description and due date and like so and after that we will also copy maybe let's just say we're gonna copy the whole thing here it's gonna be pretty much the same so let's just copy the whole thing and save a little bit of typing and come back here and uh, paste it so the response is going to be um, let's just say record update it close this model window by clicking top right corner and um, that's it that sounds perfectly all right to me and if it's not then here I want to change update if the request type is not Ajax um, then I want to also provide uh, functionality for the HTTP request so that can be handled like a return redirect there won't be any response we have to redirect back with this message so we have to take care of both the situations anyway um, just because some browser if the JavaScript is, is disabled our application won't uh, crash you know now message will be task has been successfully updated and here's the task name and that's that's about it and just delete up to here and that's that's good okay I think this is good so let's just test it out for a second I'm gonna go ahead and so this is about fitness so let's just say uh, create a fitness goal get yourself a set of realistic goals and then I'm just gonna change the data as well and update and if it is successful you'll see that this message is there and after I close it it should refresh itself and this name should change and it does change but there is a little bit of bug here it's changing all the uh, all the tasks related to this project so 
that's not good I don't like that so basically when we try to edit a particular task it's updating all the tasks why is it doing that because what we are trying to say here is let's try to understand how it actually works so we're firing a model window that essentially submits to update uh, method that essentially fires the update method on task controller as we look at in the model window edit tasks so we're saying we're going to be running a patch method which is put and patch is update met for updating the record and we're going to be calling task controllers update method and this is the instance this is the task id and we want you to find this instant we're also using form model binding where we, where we are binding this model so it's going to bind the model with the request do we still need the id yes it's going to query the model and then bind it so essentially what happens is we are saying the project has many tasks and update all of them but we don't want to update all of them we just want to update the one that we are editing right now and we haven't made use of this task instance at all we haven't used it so instead of using project we're gonna call it task and we're gonna remove the s and we're also gonna remove these parentheses so we're gonna make direct use of this model which is task model and we're gonna update the record and we're gonna get rid of this project um, instance and here also we will do the same thing just because we wanna be um, safer we want to make make use of both the possibilities correctly let's see if this works let's see if it's able to query the without making use of project project model instance let's see if it works so I'm just gonna go ahead and just add it one of the records and I'm gonna say lose some weight in three months and just update the record and as you can see it's just running 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 means it's not able to find the model the reason is we have a relationship set up we can't find this particular task Laravel doesn't know which which project you're talking about you have um, you have more than one project or one or more than one doesn't matter you have different projects it needs to know which project you're talking about and which task so we need to still provide the project instance although we won't be using it but for the purpose of uh, form model binding because they have a relationship Laravel Eloquent Query Builder is going to use that for us dynamically and give us the instance and now if I just save it and try to add it I have a feeling it will work And let's see if it likes it. Looks like it likes it. So when we get rid of this, we should see only first record being updated. And like so. And I can just copy this. Or let's just say uh, get get some get get um, get rest for the for the fitness so as you can see it's only changing the particular task in a particular project so that's the beauty of Laravel eloquent query builder you provide the model instance it's going to dynamically query first the first it's going to find the project then it's going to attach the task you're talking about but you don't need to use it here because the inverse of this relationship is already in our model if you go and have a look at the task model we have declared that a, a task belongs to a project so essentially we can call a method on it but I guess it just works dynamically so it just works so that's all that's how you update the task and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video